I have said it once, I'm going to say it twice. Subscribe to my channel and give it a like. Okay. Hey, you all. I am back with another video. Before we get into this video, y'all make sure y'all like this video, subscribe to my channel, and comment down below. I'm going to show y'all what I have. This jacket right here. I don't know if you all seen it. Let me turn it so y'all can see it. Let me turn y'all around so y'all can see it. This jacket right here. Pretty nice jacket. It can be purchased at, it's a genuine handcraft goods jacket. Show y'all the tag. I don't know if y'all can see that. Can y'all see that? But, let me see. Come back here. I don't know if y'all can see it. Hopefully y'all can see it. But anyways, this is the jacket that I am going to be pressing on. As y'all can hear, maybe y'all can see it's a different texture. Um, let me give y'all the... It's pretty cool. I got pockets in the inside. This jacket is 100% nylon, which if you all watched the video okay. before... I... But anyways, I think I did a video before with me pressing on a nylon apron. But this time, I am just going to be doing a video pressing on this jacket. This jacket has buttons, as you all can see. I'm going to go ahead and button it back up. That way, we can keep it lined up the way that we need it to be. It don't have to be completely lined up. But it has buttons. So, I'm just going to place this jacket on this thing here. I'm gonna put down some crafting paper. I normally like to use both of my um. I would normally use both of my Teflon sheets, but I don't know where they at, or I probably messed them up with sublimation ink. I probably need to order some more. I think I need to order some more. So I got to remind myself to order me some more. This is the design here. So I can do this one of two ways. I'm gonna fold it in the middle. Let's fold it in the middle. Like this. So I'm gonna fold it in the middle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut along, along, along that fold I just made. Just want to make sure that it's completely in the middle. Okay. So I'm just going to cut along this fold. Knowing that... All of it is not going to completely fit. Hmm. Yeah, this can be tricky too. Because there is also a button that's going to be in my way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and press on that button. So, I'm going to take a piece of crap paper. I think it's old. Piece of it's a light color jacket. I don't want to mess it up. Yeah, I'm going to do a piece at a time only because I don't want, I want the jacket to come together. I don't even think it needed 10 seconds. 
seconds like I just did, but this is a different type of vinyl, which I don't like particularly, but I got it, so we're gonna use it. Now this vein right here is kind of hard to come up. I think he's supposed to peel cool, but see there it go. This end came up. I'm gonna press that again, y'all, because it ain't gonna work right for me. But I'm gonna bring this one. Uh, I'm gonna bring this one on over here. Let's see if I can press this one as well. Okay, it's kind of hard with these buttons. Zipper is a little bit better. These buttons, it's another thing. Yeah, it's kind of hard to do this because you do not want to burn the jacket. But I know what it is. It's the dang on vinyl that I'm using. That's making it super hard to come up. So I'm just trying to get, get it down. I hate this vinyl. Let me tell y'all what vinyl this is. Don't use it. I, I really hate it. This vinyl is called Eco, Eco Light Vinyl. But what this vinyl is, it's hard to come off the paper, but it doesn't stick. So when it's heated, it's hard to come off of this, um, the transfer paper it's on. But when it's not heated, it doesn't stick to the transfer paper and it's just retarded. It makes stuff so harder. Like, it makes everything hard to do. And, like, I'm literally trying not to burn this jacket. However, it's not doing what it's supposed to do. It's burning on that. So, I'm having trouble with that. And normally, I literally just print it. 
done some more stuff and got it done. But yeah, we go get this one done too. It's hot too. Okay, there it go, probably. I'll excuse my little background noise. My little pieces of ours didn't come off, but I'm not worrying about that. And I'm going to repress it, too. So, let's see if we can get this up. See, this is supposed to be peeled warm. However, sometimes warm don't work. Or maybe it doesn't... Okay, so there we go. Now, I'm going to show y'all this. So, this vinyl is still isn't down completely. So, what I'm going to do is take my little scalpel tool here. And I'm just going to kind of go around the button. I would love to see if I could... um tuck it under the button but I don't think it'll go yeah because the button down too tight or too firm so it's not gonna go so you can use either your little thing which I don't want to poke a hole and nothing so I'm just gonna use the scissors and kind of make like a little slight circle and I probably should have done this before it probably would have been better if I'd done it before I actually pressed. So you won't see any spaces. Let's see. I'm going to see if I can put that piece back down. See, it'll be cool. I just don't want to pop the button off. I don't know if my little scalpel is sharp enough. Because it would be cool if I could just take the scalpel and go around it. But my scalpel not working good for me on this. Yeah, these, these, uh, this vinyl and stretch vinyl is the worst vinyls to fool with. And the last thing is this Y. Okay. And now that I got everything off, I'm going to repress it. I'm going to repress it. 
so that the other stuff that I just cut off, the excess stuff, a stick. Look like I still got a little piece that I need to do. I'll do that too, but let's get this down. Hope y'all can see. Okay, I think this is I mean, y'all, it could stay on the button because this is sticking to the button, actually. However, I don't want to keep it on there because it's not down all the way. So, by it not being down, it could cause the rest of the vinyl to come up. Well, it's sticking there, but the side isn't down. Yeah. So I'm trying to get everything and make sure that it's pressed down real good because I don't want anything to come up. This jacket takes a little bit more work only because, but the nylon isn't burning, not so quick, but you don't want to leave it on there too, too long where it will burn. Get everything down while it's still hot. It looks, I got everything down. Only thing that I, I'm having trouble getting down is this Y right here. But I'm going to figure it out, child. Just give me a second. So what I'm going to do is I have a well, I had one. Ask me where it's at. And maybe I could tell you, but maybe I can't. But I have a Teflon sheet, or 
pad. Okay, y'all, I don't know where my Teflon pad is, but I just got this Teflon sheet. So I'm going to fold it. And I'm going to stick it in this jacket so my hand can go under there and I can apply pressure. I'm not going to do it too too much or too hard. I just want to get where that jacket is. That little piece, that button is. So I can make sure that it's pushing up on it. And I advise you to either use a Teflon pad or if y'all see, I folded this in like so many pieces. Okay. that way I'm making a mess now I'm trying to get this on here because I wanted to be able to stick to it. let's see if we can get it to stick next thing since I can't get it to stick with this the next best thing is to grab an iron because it most definitely will work so I'm about to go grab this iron I'm gonna leave this Teflon sheet sitting right here let me go grab this iron real quick y'all because I'm gonna plug this iron up into her Okay, y'all, so this is the jacket, but if y'all can't see, I can see, it's kind of coming up right here by the Y. This is okay. Um, however, I'm, I'm about to take an iron. I have a Teflon sheet sitting in the inside. I'm about to take the iron. The iron is turned up on six. I don't know if it's on. How you turn the iron on? Oh, Lord. Oh, it's not on. Hold on, y'all. Let me let the iron cool up. Okay, y'all. So the iron is hot. I just know the spots that I'm already going to iron on. I'm just going to take the iron and apply pressure. That should be done. These are like the corner pieces that the heat press didn't quite get for me. And then I'm gonna do this this side the same way. However, this one has pieces by the button, so I just make sure I get.
And this is just to get it all the way down, y'all. So, I used the urn to help me go ahead and press it down. And use the tip of the urn. Be careful using the tip. I just ripped that. But, let me show y'all how it looks now. So, let me show y'all. I hope you all like this video. Make sure you all give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and comment down below. Thank you, and bye. Till next time. Don't be looking at my dirty craft room. <laughs>